Well, good evening, all. Got something really special to present today. This might appear to be just a standard silver spirit from the early 80s. Mind you, a very nice color combination. Georgian silver over claret. But this car is actually a great deal more. This is a car that was personally bespoke by, by a very well-known expert, if not guru, in the Rolls-Royce world, a Mr. John Showstrom, who's also a very, very dear friend of mine. This is an 82 Rolls-Royce Silver Spirit, but he completely bespoke this car some 20 odd years ago. First thing you notice when you open the door, look at this absolutely beautiful wood that was done on the door cappings. You will remember that on the early spirits, 81 to 84, they just had straight line wood. This has all been refinished in beautiful burr walnut. He actually had the whole interior redone and even built this very special console. Now again, some of you might say, well, I've seen that before, but remember, this was done before. This is what you, similar to what you may have seen in a Bentley Turbo R, but this car is well before that. So this console was all specially designed and built and it houses, back in the time, a very fancy radio Macintosh, the uh, seat controls, mirror controls. And look at this beautiful, cocktail cabinet it opens and closes and you have these gorgeous crystal decanters look at that and they both sit on an angle like that and with these beautiful shot glasses and the interesting thing you will note everything has been done in such a way that it resembles, as I always say, as if the factory did it. And that's the importance when you do any kind of bespoke restoration. It not only has to look good, but it has to appear as if that's what the factory might have done. Connolly hide leather with burgundy piping. All of this was redone or done to suit his specific purpose and desire. Full headliner in leather as opposed to fabric. Leather rear with a third brake stoplight. And then of course the Georgian silver over claret with these beautiful hand painted fine lines. Even in the trunk, all the carpet was done in burgundy, normally on an SZ. This part of the trunk is just black carpet and these are preformed black plastic. It's all been refinished in leather, including the hinges, hinge covers, I should say, all refinished in leather. all the little touches that make these cars very, very special. He even went to the trouble of uh, having the stainless steel hubcaps polished, but polished, how can I put it, greater than the factory did. So they have this very rich, almost chrome look to them. But of course, they are the standard stainless steel caps. Look at 
uh, just exquisite work, all book matched and all four doors matching as you'd expect. Mutons, even the Mouton has, probably can't see it in this video, the heel pad matching the upholstery. Center horn button finished in hide pad matching. There's that beautiful console again. This being an American car would have had the, uh, let's call them unattractive Cadillac rectangular lights. These were replaced with the Euro type and a beautiful touch is the uh, kneeling spirit of ecstasy. So there you have it, a 1982 Rolls-Royce Silver Spirit, bespoke at considerable cost a number of years ago. Fortunately, collector owned since, so it has been well maintained and certainly beautifully preserved since John did it. 20 years ago, goodness, you might be forgiven to think that this was done only in the last five years. The car's only done about 60,000 miles, so she hasn't been driven much, but wow, isn't she beautiful? So there we have it, another interesting, and in this case, well, in all cases, but this case in particular, beautiful bespoke example, brought to you by Park Ward Motors. Most of you know me, those of you who don't, my name is Rod Sala, and I can be reached at Park Dashward dot com.